हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो वी आर नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 15.4 सो यू आर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सम नंबर 1 इफ पी ए यूनियन बी ओके दैट वन इक्वल टू पी ए plus pb then what can be said about the events a and b so as here pa union b you know the formula for pa union b the formula is pa plus pb minus pa intersection b that is the formula for pa union b but in your question here p a union b equal to p a plus p b that means p a intersection b equal to 0 okay that means here a and b are mutually exclusive okay if a intersection b equal to 0 so your answer is a and b are mutually exclusive now number 2 check whether the following probabilities pa and pb are consistently defined so here the number 1 here pa equal to 0.5 pb equal to 0.7 okay and pa intersection b that one equal to 0.6 so first pa intersection b cannot be greater than pa or pb i repeat pa intersection b cannot be greater than pa or pb but in that case here 0.6 greater than 0.5 that means here pa intersection b greater than pa okay pa intersection b greater than pa that means the probabilities pa and pb are not consistently defined okay if pa intersection b less than pa or less than pb then you can say that pa and pb are consistently defined as here the first one intersection one is greater than pa so it not consistently defined i hope you can solve the next one now move on to sum number 3 in sum number 3 state true and false for given reason okay true and false first one here pa equal to 1 by 3 pb equal to 2 by 3 then a and b are mutually exclusive and exhaustive so as here first you have to find out pa plus pb so here pa plus pb equal to 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 that one equal to 1 but we cannot say that pa intersection b and pa union b okay so as here pa and pb equal to 1 from this you cannot say about the value of pa intersection b or pa union b so that means you cannot write down here that a b are mutually exclusive or exhaustive so that one equal to false clear that is number 1 now number 2 in number 2 here pa equal to 0.4 pb equal to 0.25 next one p a or b okay p a or b that one equal to here 0.65 a or b means you can write down here a union b or means union at means intersection now then a and b are mutually exclusive events so as here the formula pa intersection b that one equal to pa plus pb minus pa union b so 0.4 plus 0.25 
minus 0 0.65 that one equal to 0 0 means 5 that means p a intersection b equal to 5 okay so here a and b are mutually exclusive it's true next one sum number 3 p a equal to 0 0.3 0 0.3 p b equal to 0 0.45 and here p a and b a and b means a intersection b it's 0 0.2 then a and b are not mutually exclusive so as here a and b equal to 0 0.2 that means it does not equal to with phi so here a and b are not mutually exclusive that means again this one is true because for mutually exclusive p a intersection b always zero or phi number four in number four here p a equal to 0 0.35 p b equal to 0 0.65 then A and B are complementary events. So as here P A equal to this one, then here P A complement, okay? P A complement equal to 1 minus 0 0.35, okay? P A complement equal to 1 minus 0 0.35, that one equal to 0 0.65, which is equal to with P B, okay? which is equal to p b so that means you can write down here that a and b are complementary events now the last one number 5 p a equal to 0 0.35 p b sorry it's p b equal to 0 0.65 and p a intersection b that one equal to 0 then a and b are complementary events so first here you have to find out the value of union for p a union b first add 0 0.35 with 0 0.65 that one equal to here uh, it's 1 minus 0 that one equal to again 1 clear so as here a and b are complementary events then definitely union equal to 1 so your answer is here true okay this one also true now next one sum number four in sum number four here a and b are mutually exclusive events okay here p a equal to 0 0.35 p b equal to 0 0.45 p a here 0 0.35 pb equal to here 0 0.45 and as here mutually exclusive so a intersection b that one equal to 0 or 5 now the first one you have to find out p a complement a complement is very easy 1 minus p a that means 1 minus 0 0.35 0 0.65 number 2 p b complement again it's very easy 1 minus 0 0.45 that one equal to 0 0.55 now number 3 in number 3 p a union b that means p a plus p b minus a intersection b so 0 0.35 plus 0 0.45 minus 0 that one equal to here it's 0 0.8 okay 0 0.8 now the fourth one p a intersection b that one equal to zero because mutually exclusive now fifth one a intersection b complement so here is formula p a minus p a intersection b p a equal to 0 0.35 minus 0 so your answer here 0 0.35 now the sixth Six one, you have to find out P A complement intersection B complement. Okay, that means here 
1 minus P A union B. So 1 minus 0 0.8 that means 0 0.2 your answer. Okay, now move on to last sum. So guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here, if E and F are events such that such that here P E equal to 1 by 4. Okay, so write down here P E equal to 1 by 4. Good. Next one P F equal to 1 by 2. And here P E and F. Okay, and means always intersection. So that one equal to 1 by 8. So first one you have to find out P E or F. Okay, E or F means E union F. So you know the formula P E 1 by 4 plus P F 1 by 2 minus 1 by 8. So your answer 5 by 8. Number 2. P not E. Okay, not E means E complement. Then next year and. And means here intersection. And then not F means F complement. So here you can write down 1 minus P E union F. So 1 minus 5 by 8 that one equal to 3 by 8 as your answer. 